there, welcome to the Fit Mill at home. My name's Shanae, I'll be guiding you through a, a total body workout today. You'll need your dumbbells and a stool. We'll warm up really quick and then we'll hit our first round of six. You'll do each move for 30 seconds, three sets total, and then a total of six rounds. So 24 different moves, three different times. You ready? All right, let's go ahead, open those arms up. We're gonna roll those shoulders back and down, getting into that um, <clears throat> upper back and shoulders. Now take it forward. My abs are sore from my arms and abs video yesterday. Go ahead, crisscross in front and behind. We also have uploaded um, a stretch video. Megan did one the other day. So if after we uh, finish here and you want to stretch it out, you can always go to that uh, playlist on the YouTube channel. I bring it up and over. Oh, now send it to the side. The first round is going to be some planking and some things on the wrists and elbows. So let's take a second to kind of roll those out. So do some wrist circles here. Maybe take it the other direction. Flex that hand towards your face. Now point it down. Now pull it in. It's one of those things with aging that has started to hurt me that never hurt before, my wrists. Didn't see that coming. All right, let's go ahead, jog it out right here. Light toes. And I kind of get that heart rate up a little bit. Right, ready? I'll take it to that jump rope right here. Jump rope, nice and light. Take it into those jumping jacks right here. Up, up. Still full range of motion with those arms. Low impact version, you're just tapping, but still have those arms nice and high. Five seconds, we'll go back to that jump rope. Three, two, one, jump rope right here. All right, jog it out. We're gonna go in to those toy soldiers in three, two, and one. So step, tap, step back. So you're doing a little, oh, I think it's actually a dance move. We're stepping forward and back and going into those toy soldiers. One more each side here, and then we'll do those hip openers. All right, right step, right knee opens. Left step, left knee opens. So alternating those two. Forget to set those fitness watches. Gotta get credit for it, right? All right, go ahead. We're gonna start it off here. So I'm showing you what the first move is. We're gonna do an inchworms into a bird dog. So end of the mat, you'll walk it out. Hold, hold, walk it out. Back up. Number two, you're down. You're gonna do a um, tuck jump. Bring it back with a toe reach. So pop up, pop back, toe reach. And then for C, you'll come onto the elbows. You're gonna hold it narrow. You're gonna alternate tapping left and right. And then for D, we'll go into a uh, finisher burpee. So that's when we do the mountain climber, pop, up. Yeah, round one. We're about to finish your burpee. So you don't need dumbbells. That's your first round. If you need to keep jogging in place to stay warm, go for it. Otherwise, I'm gonna hit start on that timer, and we're going for it. Inchworms with that bird dog. Five seconds. Three, two, oh, and so feet are nice and wide. Start low, get those legs straight. You're gonna get to the back of those hamstrings. Find your plank, reach right, reach left, Walk it back. So I like to have round one still incorporating warming up and stretching that body. So this is a great way to get into that core, those shoulders, hamstrings, all of it. Big reach. Almost there. And one. Now, come down. You're going to do tuck, back, reach for the opposite toe. Tuck back, reach. Okay, so stay low, abs are tight, pop it back, reach. Hips come nice and high. Less than 10, we'll go down to those elbow planks. 
and one. Come on down to the elbows. Okay, you're gonna hold that up. You're gonna tap right, middle, left, middle. You can make it more dynamic if you want. I'm gonna do a full jack, whatever you wanna do here. Abs are tight. We're gonna be doing that finisher burpee next, so get that body ready, you have five seconds. Three, two, and one. Come to the hands, give me mountain climbers. One, two, three, four, play our plank, pop up, back down, mountain climbers. Power plank. Scissor jumps. Squat. Finish it all the way through. And rest. There's your round one. Okay? Nothing too crazy. We got this. We're going to go into that inchworm with that bird dog. Three, two, and one. Nice and wide. Legs are straight. Get into the hamstrings. Feel the stretch. Find the plank, long, long. Nice walk back. So keep that stretch and really reach through those hands for that bird dog. Five seconds, get ready to hold it down. All right, tuck, toe reach. And my friends, drop those hips on that plank. Keep those booties down. Almost there. Two more. Last one. All right, drop to those elbows. Elbow planks with those taps right here. So try to keep that chin lifted off of that chest. We tend to go like this. So gaze forward, think nice, tap, side, middle, side, middle. Sometimes we start to do this, pull up, pull up those hips. Whew, almost there, five seconds. Finish your burpee, coming up right here. Full plank position, mountain climber, power plank, scissor jumps, Squat, okay, down, mountain climber, good my friends, 10 second mark, and rest it out, good job, one more set of those bad boys, one more set. Inchworms. Three, two, all right, inchworms. Walk it out. Reach, reach. Good, my friends, good. Almost there, my friends. Five seconds. All right, stay down. Give me that tuck, that toe reach. So tuck, toe tap. Make sure you're reaching at a diagonal, okay? Right hand to left toe here. Less than 10. And one, drop to the elbows. Tap. So while you're in that elbow plank, think about those elbows pulling towards those toes. Those toes pulling towards those elbows. That core is locked in. You're just alternating that tap. 10 seconds. Don't drop. And 
time. Finish your burpee right here. Last 30 seconds of round one. Let's go. Mountain climbers, power plank, scissor jumps. Land the squat. Finish this last one. There you go. There's your round one. Round two, you're gonna grab your dumbbells, okay? You're gonna do a sumo squat to a high row. So wide feet, you're gonna come down, pull wide. Low, and then wide. And then for a B, you're gonna hold it and alternate a front raise. And then for C, you're gonna go into, oh, you're gonna need your stool. Grab your stool. So after that, you'll lay down onto your, your stool. And you're gonna do single, single, double, okay? And then from there, you'll pull those weights together, come into an overhead reach. All right? Exciting stuff. All right, you're on right here. So have those dumbbells facing down, sumo squat, Pull. Sumo squat and pull. Perfect. There you go. Give me two more. All right, hold it down. Alternate front raise. So it doesn't have to come higher than that shoulder joint. Straight arm reaches right out of that shoulder joint and lines up with that chest. Get ready to lay down and work that chest press. You can do this on the floor. If you don't have a stool, no worries. But single, single, double, double. So right, left, together, okay? Right, you can do this on the floor. Good. Almost there, my friends. Five seconds. All right, now glue those weights together. Take it back. All the way over and up. If straight arm hurts your shoulders, take it into a skull crusher. All right, listen to that body. Almost there, 10 seconds. Finishing it strong. Three, two, and one. Good job. Whew. Awesome, awesome, awesome. So, get ready for that sumo squat. You got five seconds, my friends. You ready? Three, two, and one. So, sumo squat down, come up, high row. Sumo squat down, up. Perfect. So make sure those toes are pointing out corner to corner and you're leading with those booties as you come down. 10 seconds. Good. Getting ready. Switch it up in three, two, and one. So now hold it down. Alternate that front raise. Good, so hold the squat down. So open the toes, sink it down. Work that up, there you go, yeah. Sink it lower. See, yeah, there you go. 10 seconds, my friends. We're gonna lay it on those backs for that chest press in three, two, and one. So I use my stool as a bench here. So I get my head on it, I bridge up, Single, single, double. Awesome. Almost there. Again, you can do this on the floor with a bridge. 
and one. All right, glue those weights together. Overhead reach. Back to center. You want to add a narrow chest press with that overhead extension. You can do that as well. 10 seconds, friends. You're there in three, two, and one. Good job. Ooh, feeling that, huh? I'm going to turn my fan on. I need a little bit of air. <laughs> all right, get ready for that. It's all happening. Three, two, and one. Nice big low sumo squat, high pull. So this is round three, that power set. Good, big pull. Here we go, my friends. Less than 10. Three, two, and one. Now hold it, alternate those lifts right here. Ten seconds. Hold it onto it. Three, two, and one. Now lay it on down, my friends. Chest press right here. One at a time. Both. One at a time. And both. Good. Hold it, my friends. Five more seconds. All right, glue those weights together. Reach overhead, back to center. Add that narrow press if you want it. If that's dumping into the shoulders, you can always just take it into a skull crusher. I literally just hit myself in the head. <laughs> Don't do that. Seconds. And one. Good job, my friends. So that round is done. We're going to go into that third set, burpee with a bicep curl. So what that's going to look like, you're going to need those dumbbells. You're going to pop down, hit your burpee, come up, bicep curl. Okay? Second move we're going to do is a bent over row with straight arms. So You'll be up, you're gonna pull it back, and then straight arm the extension. Oh, wait, I like it. It's here, 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 all right? And for that third move, you're gonna do a dead deadlift pulse where you're down low for three, and then come up high. And then you're gonna go into um, an alternating front lunge, all right? All right, that timer's on, so let's do those burpees. So take it down to the floor, pop it back, Option to give me that push up, come up, bicep curl. Down, back, push up, up, bicep curl. Yes, perfect. Almost there. And one. So now, bend over, give me that row, straight arms. So, bent over row. Straight arm kick back. There we go. Our focus today, legs, glutes, and shoulders, a little bit of triceps. Sumo or deadlift in three, two, and one. So now for a good deadlift, you want to make sure you're flat back. Once you get there, you're gonna give me three little pulses. Come all the way up. Down two, three, up and squeeze. Yes. So already, I can feel you guys bumping into your backs. If you are rounded, stick out those boobies. Come on. Three, two, and one. So you're gonna take it into 
right leg front lunge, come back, lift out to the side. Left foot, lift out to the side. Now if you want to combine that lateral raise at the top, you can do that. So step forward, step back, lift it up. Step forward, come on, we're almost done with this. Burpee bicep curl, let's take it down, back, up, and curl. Yes, perfect. Adding that push-up, if you're feeling strong today in that upper body. 10 more seconds. Three, two, and one. So straight in to that the bent over row with those straight arm kickbacks. There we go. Bent over row, kickbacks. Perfect. Less than 10. All right, straight into that deadlift pulse. So before you even hit that deadlift, prepare the shoulders, stick out the chest, reach, two, three, come up. Okay, you should feel lifted through that chest, flatten that back. Nice long neck. Don't look at the floor, look forward. Keep that chin lifted. Think about the backs of those legs, squeezing and engage all through the hamstring, all through that glute. All right, my friends, switching it there. So front lunge, step right, come back, lift. Step left, come back, and lift. Perfect. Shoulders, baby, shoulders. Feeling good today. Get into those quads and those glutes with that front lunge. Nice. Five more seconds. And one. Good job, good job. So, how are we feeling? Pretty good? Maybe? All right, do that one more time. Starting off with that bicep curl burpee. Five seconds. Three, two. All right, let's take it down. Back. Add that push up if you got it. Pop up and crawl. Yes. Ten seconds, let's do this. Finish it off right here. Good, now hold it up. Row, straight arm. So, you at home shouldn't have a lot of transition here. This should flow from one move to the other. You're gonna see me moving around to try to get into the best spot to show you good form. You just stay put, okay? Abs are tight on these. So whenever you're hinged forward, make sure you take a deep breath. Pull that belly button in and hold it. All right, you're gonna do that front lunge. Step right, step back. Lateral raise right here. Step up, step back, lateral raise. Good. Perfect, my friends. Think about those weights going corner to corner here. All right, I skip something. <laughs> I did. I forgot the deadlift. We'll get that next. All right, now you got your deadlift. Anyway, we'll get it done. And squeeze. Triple pulse. And squeeze. Good, nice flat back here. Perfect, you got 10 seconds, friends. Nice flat back on those deadlifts, you got it. Three, two, and one, good job. So you're gonna need your stool for this next few. So go ahead and grab that. You're gonna be sitting on it for a boat pose chest fly, boat pose Russian twist, shoot outs, and then we'll do some external rotation. So what you're gonna do, sitting on it, you're gonna be back, gonna do that chest fly, okay? 
Uh, we're gonna hold it up. We're gonna do Russian twists. Then we'll ditch those weights. Go into shootouts here. And then you'll pick up those weights and you're gonna do an external rotation with a squat. All right? So keep those weights nearby. Chest fly in three, two, and one. So you can choose to hold the boat post here. You can do this on the floor too. Or have the feet planted and come back. So back, open. When those arms come together at the top, lean back. When the chest opens up, pop up. All right, you ready for those Russian twists? Pick up those feet. Find that sweet spot on your sacrum, and we're twisting. Again, you can do this on the floor. Almost there. 10 seconds. Three, two, one, ditch those weights. Shootouts. So on a shootout, what you wanna see is you're holding on up to the sides. You're gonna come out and in, out and in. Try to keep those heels lifted in line with those knees. You can even hold on here if you like that better, but keep a nice proud chest. Lift it up. 10 seconds, we're gonna stand up and grab those dumbbells. Three, two, and one. So standing up. An external rotation, you're gonna have those elbows in, those palms are facing straight up, okay? You're going to open, close, squat tap. The tap is that booty onto that stool, okay? Open, close, sit and tap. There we go, five seconds. And rest it out. So there's your first round. So I've got my 10s for the external rotation, and then I got my 8s for the twists and the chest flies. So you find your sweet spot, what feels good. Three, two, and one. Sit back, chest fly. Okay, if you need to, you can pick up those feet, a little extra abs. There you go. Excellent, my friends. Keep those feet down if you need to. Either way, just keep that chest lifted. Good, yes, pulse back. Open it up, nice soft bend in those elbows. Three, two, and one. Russian twist. So now pick up those feet if you weren't already. Sit back, twist left and right. Look over that right shoulder, look over that left shoulder. Now, if you feel your back rounding and dumping, pick up that chest. Five seconds, we're gonna do those shootouts. Three, two, and one. Now, you'll see me switch positions, but you don't need to. I just want you to see it from the side. Shoot it out, tuck it in. Shoot it out, tuck it in. I kinda like to hold on because my hip flexors always burn out. So if I hold on my legs a little bit, I'm able to get that range of motion with my abs without it dumping into my hips. Okay. Perfect, five seconds. All right, stand it up. External rotation here. Palms are facing up, elbows are locked in. Hold it here. Open, close, squat tap. So from the side, open, close, Squat, okay? Five seconds, friends. All right, little rest there. Looking good. One more time, okay? I know, I know. Sitting down for that chest fly. You ready for it? Heck yeah, you are. Three, two, all right, chest fly right here. Sit back, open it up. If you're feeling frisky, you're feeling strong in those abs today, pick up those feet, and that chest fly with the legs lifted. Good, 
Good, balancing on that sacrum. You got this, my friends. Whew. You can even do these without weights if your weights are too heavy. Three, two, and one. All right, flexion and twist. Sit back on that sacrum with those feet up. Twist, twist, twist. Good, my friends. Keep that posture up and lifted. Slow and controlled. Twist, twist, twist. Three, two, and one. Let's go up into the Russian twists. I'm sorry, shoot out. <laughs> Again, big important step here is to keep those heels lifted. A lot of times with shootouts, I see people just kicking their butt. Get the heels up. Say tuck, push away. Tuck, push away. Okay, don't kick your butt. Keep them up. Three, two, and one. All right, squat with that external rotation. Elbows in the sides. Weights are halfway in that bicep position. Open. Open and tap. We're gonna be using that stool next for step ups. So if you don't have a stool, maybe a chair or a table will work fine. All right, All right there it is, my friends. So you're gonna need your stool. Put your weights next to a wall because you're gonna need those for a wall sit. Otherwise, you're gonna do. Uh, let's do this. Step up, down, lunge. Okay, that's A. B, same thing, other side. Left leg steps, right leg comes down. C, C number three. You're gonna do quick feet, jacks. All right, and then your last move, find a wall, sit, and you're gonna take those arms and serve that pucker. All right, ready? Let's step right. You can have weights here. If you have weights, you can put them on your shoulders and have that weighted step up lunge. Whatever feels good. This is round five. So if you still have a lot left in that tank, grab those weights. Good step, drive, step, lunge. You could do this on the floor as well. And one. All right, switching legs. Step left. Right, right, left. Step, knee, step, lunge. Perfect. Get low. Ten more seconds. Ready for those quick feet. And one. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Maybe you're here. Get ready for that wall sit. Sit it down. Good, I can already see I'm cheating. I always have my feet so far out. Try to get those heels underneath those knees. Five seconds. And one. Need those weights close to where you're gonna do that wall sit. We got that all again. Starting with those step ups. Three, two, all right, right, left. Step, drive, step, lunge. There you go, my friends. Again, if you want to have your weights, hold them on your shoulders, okay? You're looking so good. Never miss a Monday, right? 
Sets the tone for the week. Almost there, five. All right, let's switch those legs. Left leg is gonna lead. Left, right, right, left. Good. Set the back. Drive it up. Ten seconds, my friends. <laughs> Three, two, and one. Four taps, four ducks. Right here. Tap. Two. Three. Four. Jack. Two. Three. Four. Perfect. Almost there. All right, wall sit, my friends. Grabbing onto those dumbbells. Sink it down. Find that sweet spot. And when you're ready, have those weights in and out. Good, we serve the platter called the GTS. It's one of my favorite GTS moves. So I love incorporating it with those dumbbells. Perfect, five seconds. Good job, friends. Two sets down. One more to go. You feeling it? You with me? You are. You are. I know it. All right, stepping right. Three, two. All right, let's go. Right foot, left foot, lunge. Right foot, left foot, lunge. Drive. How many of my Strong soldiers out there, grab those dumbbells for this. Go for it. Get some. <clears throat> Five seconds. Three, two, and one. Switching legs. This is your last set, friends. Let's go. Left, right, right, left. By design, always try to make those transitions quick. Since we're doing time-based versus reps, we don't want to dilly-dally in between those moves. We want to get right into it and get the most reps we can out of that 30 seconds. We have five seconds. Last one. All right, we need those quick feet. Four and four. Here you go. Four, three, two, one. Four, three, two, one. Four, three, two, one. Quick, two, three, perfect. Love it. Five seconds, last one. Final wall sit, let's get there. Good, my friends. Now think about the shoulders. Pull them down, push them into that wall. My wall is nice and cold. Feels amazing. Feels so amazing, I can't even think about my legs. Just kidding. Almost there. Three, two, and one. Good job. 40 second rest here. That way we can get into our last and final set. You're gonna need one dumbbell. We're gonna do knee to elbows, get ups, Squat jump, oh yo, yo, yo. you might want to move your stools. So one dumbbell, you're gonna go squat, opposite knee, opposite elbow, opposite knee, opposite elbow. Okay, then you're gonna need your mat, you need your get ups. So down, down, up, up, curl. All right, and then for C, you're gonna go into, ditch that weight, I've never done these. Kick, butt, butt. All right, and the last one will hold that squat and do a squat walk. So grab those dumbbells. Three, two, just one. Squat, right knee, left elbow. Squat, left knee, right elbow. So you're getting low, and when you come up, I want you to twist and drive that knee. So you're not just barely picking that knee up. You're twisting and you're driving. 
making a connection with that elbow to that knee. All right, now get ups. Hold the weights here. Come down to your knees. Pop up. Curl. Down, down, up, up, curl. Try to hold that squat at the top, okay? Try not to stand all the way. Get ready to ditch that weight. And one. So with this, squat, jump, heel click, here, butt kick, butt kick. Squat, jump, heel click, right, left. If you're not gonna uh, jump, squat, butt kick, okay? Otherwise, join me for that heel click, tap, tap. Three, two, and one. There it is, round six. No more surprises, two more sets, that's four minutes. We got this. All right, so grabbing that one dumbbell, coming into that twist, holding it here, and let's go. So squat, twist, squat. Oh, would we skip? Oh, we forgot the squat walk. Do it, do your squat walk. Just do it. We'll go into our break a little bit. Keep going. Five seconds. All right, now we have a short rest. It's only a five second rest. Grab those dumbbell, that dumbbell. We're twisting in three, two, and one. Squat, twist. Sorry, I goofed up there. I've been skipping D, <laughs> skipping things around. Not on purpose, I promise. Awesome. I love incorporating weight into the movements that we already have done during this quarantine to up that level. All right, you ready for those get ups? All right, take it down, up, curl. Down, up, hold the squat, curl, perfect. Bad knees, hold it, and curl, all right? If you don't wanna get up and down on those sensitive kneecaps, I got you, I feel you. That's the other thing that's starting to go. My knees. Last one. All right, let's have fun. Let's do that heel click. Squat, jump, heel click, butt kick, butt kick. I won't forget our squat walk, okay? One more. All right, now hold it down. You're gonna step back, together, back, together. You're sinking low. As far back as you can go, and take it up. You're lucky I didn't have you put a resistance band on for these. Usually we work those hip adductors with that band. Stay low. Stay low, stay low. Five more seconds. Three, two, and one. Ooh, sorry I missed those bad boys the first time. <laughs> All right, you ready? Five seconds into that dumbbell squat with that twist. Ready, friends? And let's go. Twist, hit it, down, hit it. Let's pick up that pace for this power set, my friends. Pick up that pace, dig deep. Finish it strong. We're hot, we're sweaty, we're getting tired, but we're gonna finish this stronger and better than how we started. We're gonna attack today. We're gonna have a great day today. All right, prisoner get ups. Well, we're not doing prisoner style. We're holding that dumbbell with a curl. I think this is a functional exercise, man. I envision me at the beach, comfortable at the park. I got a kid and a drink in one hand. 
And if you get up off the floor, this is my move right here. <laughs> All right, now, ditching that weight, let's do those heel clicks. I'm having fun with these. You'll be seeing these again. <laughs> of course. Low impact version. Squat with that butt kick, okay? <laughs> Last one. All right, squat walk to finish. Let's go. Get low. Step big. Step big. Step together. Sink it down. Nice, my friends. 10 seconds. This is your finisher move right here. We only did two burpee variations today. And done. Good job, my friends. Always proud to have you join me on whether it's live or on YouTube. Um, stay tuned. I'm going to keep bringing you great videos. Thanks. See you at the middle.